Google has introduced one really interesting new language model which promises to change lots of things that you have come to know recently with the other players in the AI race. Quite recently, we saw the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, talking about how text won't be enough if we're going to achieve the level of sophistication that is expected of AI. The integration of other modalities, such as text-to-image or image-to-text features and the like of it, is necessary. And we knew it will just be a matter of time before we see some other modalities being included in these language models. But this is what we were expecting to see with ChatGPT5 or even the upgrades to ChatGPT4. Google seems to be taking a huge step to revolutionize the industry with the just introduced new language model called Gemini. And I promise by the time we go into details on the insane features of this language model, you will understand what I mean when I say that OpenAI has got a serious challenge on its hands. Fully called the Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network, the insane features packed into the Google Gemini project will leave you totally amazed. And as is implied by the name, the technology is capable of processing prompts via any form of modality. I'm talking about text, image, video, and audio. Many really thought that OpenAI would have been the first on the audio feature with the Whisper program, but it seems Google has beaten them to it. Now, one thing we should really pay attention to is the structure that Google has built this large language model on. It is basically a two-way model that comprises a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. And in case that's not really clear, the encoder basically receives the prompt from the user, be it text, image, video, or audio, and is able to convert the data into a language that the decoder can understand while highlighting key details. Then, it becomes the decoder's job to understand this data, process, and give out the required output in the required format. And this is really, really mind-blowing. To paint a better picture, the technology has the ability to read the individual key details in an image and be able to relay what the image is all about. And the crazy part is that this is not limited to images. It can as well be replicated with other modalities such as text and audio. When we look back to where all these things started, we cannot help but marvel at the rate these AI technologies are moving. I mean, it is really hard to keep up with the trend these days, and Google is really pushing hard in this game. It's true that some other companies have been doing some interesting things with models such as Dolly and the like, but Google's Gemini will be the first time we will be having all these modalified unified in one language model and there seem to be pretty much significant advantages that this model has over the others. One noticeable feature is the adaptability of this program. Gemini isn't limited as the other earlier models and is pretty much able to handle new context better than we've seen in the other models. And we already know that these tech companies always make these LLMs better with upgrades, and so Google had said that Gemini will be coming in four models. And certainly, we will be seeing the size and capability of this language model increase with each model. And so far, the models that we will be expecting are the Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn, just as we have with the Palm 2. And this will be likened to the parameters that are used to measure the ChatGPT program. For Gemini, the Unicorn is going to be the largest model, and we are talking about higher computing abilities and overall better performance than the other three. And you know the way ChatGPT4 has more parameters than version 3.5. That's basically what Google will be doing with these models. And I'm kind of curious to see what they will be doing with the large model that they have, which is the unicorn. I say this because we are already seeing some mind-blowing features in the first announcement of Gemini. I will take you through some of the features here, and I really think Google is determined to stay close to the front line in this race. And this is not to downplay the efforts of OpenAI with ChatGPT, because they have been really amazing and there has been this stiff competition, and there's no doubt we will be seeing a response from OpenAI and others soon enough. One of the game-changing features we have in Gemini is the proposition for a larger token size. And in case you don't know what that is, you know how you give ChatGPT a prompt to write a thousand words and it ends up at less. This will basically be solving that problem. With the inclusion of a million token size which Google is proposing, Gemini will have the ability to push out results that can finish a whole series. Pretty much impressive coming from Google. There is this particular feature that Google just announced with Gemini. 
You know how there's a growing fear of how we're going to be able to distinguish between AI generated content and what is real? Google seems to be giving us something to go with Gemini. We've already seen a case of an AI generated image used to fake an explosion near the Pentagon, which didn't have a wonderful impact on the stocks. So what Google is basically promising with Gemini is a way we can identify and track these images. They have included a watermark and metadata for all the contents that will be generated from the AI. And if you ask me, I will say that this will be really wonderful, potentially providing a means to safely identify and track these AI generated contents. What remains now is to see how effective this will be when Gemini is finally rolled out. Google is intending that Gemini will be able to challenge OpenAI's ChatGPT 4 and potentially 5. And this is basically Google playing a major catch up. It is likely that without these bold moves by Google now, there's likely a chance that they might never catch up. But with the potential Google has with DeepMind, I'm pretty sure that they have the resources required to stay relevant. One other edge that Gemini will have over pre-existing models will be the ability to adapt to new and unseen contexts. Gemini has been equipped with the ability to generate totally new images from text descriptions, and it can even write out poems from an image prompt. As we stated earlier, Gemini can easily receive the details in an image, video, or audio via the multimodal encoder, which is then analyzed by the multimodal decoder to be able to tailor the output required. In the time I have spent researching this model Gemini, I think the major selling point that Google has integrated into it is the multimodal features. This is an aspect that other companies have been struggling with, and Google has amazingly adopted a really broad approach towards this. One of the multimodal features we have in Gemini is multimodal translation. This is basically the combination of understanding of the different modalities to be able to provide translation to maybe a video. This can easily be used to generate or insert subtitles to videos, and the ability to analyze visuals enables it to understand even context. This capability cuts across other multimodal functions, such as multimodal question and answer, which basically gives the user the ability to ask questions based on the details that are presented in any modality and be able to get required responses. For example, you can easily ask the system about a book by just uploading the book cover followed by your prompt. Another multimodal capability is multimodal summarization. This is definitely impressive. Just imagine being able to get important details about any information you have in any modality just by uploading and asking the follow-up question. This is basically what Google offers with this. And there is also multimodal reasoning. The AI has the ability to draw up conclusions by analyzing data in any mode at all. I think the recent advancements in computer vision are being employed by Google in the training of this model. I think the effort that Google is putting to enable this tech to generate results from completely novel data is just amazing. You can literally get what a movie is about by uploading a clip and allowing the system to analyze different modalities present. We are really in for very interesting times in this era of AI. We shouldn't be forward in placing Google at the top just yet, because if there is anything we have learned from this AI race, it's that announcements like this are often followed by pretty much strong responses from other companies. But Google has done something really amazing here. Google has been really making serious moves in the tech industry for decades, and it is only expected that they will leverage all of the resources available to them to remain relevant in this race. We are seeing the integration of these new language models and other technologies into existing Google products. In the I.O. conference where Google announced Gemini, they announced really interesting upgrades that will be coming to Gmail, Google Maps, and Google Photos. These inclusions are basically to optimize performance and expose users to the amazing world of AI-generated responses and features. We will be looking at these in future videos, so do keep in touch so you don't miss out on this. Now what do you think about this product from Google? Maybe this will be a way for Google to maintain a spot in the front line of the AI race. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.